Using city dollars on first class flights in expensive hotel rooms. And today we're getting some reaction from city council members and the culture bearers whom she says the travel ultimately supports. And Erica Veranda is joining us in the studio. Erica, what would you find out today? Hey, Katie and Sharice, the mayor often flies first class as her staff, including security fly economy. And yesterday she was asked why in a news conference. Mayor Cantrell's travel has cost the city of New Orleans more than $60,000 so far in 2022, according to city records, including a $9,800 round trip ticket to Switzerland to sign a sister city's agreement and attend a jazz festival. She spoke about her choice to fly business class at a news conference Wednesday. Uh, business uh, class in terms of travel is what I do. Um, particularly in this environment to ensure, you know, my, my safety. We reached out to the city asking for clarification on why the mayor didn't feel safe flying economy. A spokesperson said we do not comment on the mayor's safety protocols or procedures. City Council President Helena Moreno tweeted, I definitely want the mayor to be safe, so if she felt she needed security, she should have flown economy class with him. Plus, these are taxpayer dollars and travel agencies I've reached out to say these ticket prices are not norm and egregious. The mayor's business class $9,800 round trip flight to Milan to visit Switzerland was booked one week out. So we checked upcoming flights. In a week, you can get a flight to Milan for about 2000 bucks. But if you fly business class, the cost increases to 5000 and about 11000 for fewer stops and quicker flights. We're getting trash complaints and crime complaints. And City Council member Joe Jeruso spoke with Tommy Tucker on WWL Radio Thursday morning, sharing his thoughts on her travel while the city struggles. While it's important to promote the city and make sure things are, are going well elsewhere, also being here, being on the ground, being a cheerleader at home. Cantrell calls the travel part of her job to grow the economy. I would advise you to speak to the cultural community directly. So we reached out to Chief Shaka Zulu of the Golden Feather Hunters who defended the mayor's frequent travel. For her to be able to make connections in other parts of the world, it gives the artists opportunities. It is my job. I will continue to do my job. And yesterday, Mayor Cantrell also defended her decision to support a juvenile carjacker. The victims of that carjacking say the mayor has not reached out to them to show them support. And they spoke with our Eleanor Tabone, which you'll hear in the later newscasts.